Scotty. John, how are you? Alright, my I phoned you a few weeks ago, I was stuck in the M6 doing it nuts from. Of course you were, Lala, I remember it. Mind all that about the National Radio Station. Absolutely. Hey, see that businessman that was on a minute ago yes. talking about advertising? Yes. And you're seeing him 59 million listeners. Anything up to 59, anything up to 60 oh, million. Well, they in need to stay in all the places like, they need to stay in Glasgow, Stafford, Cheshire, Lancashire. That's the only place you'll get 59. If everybody moved into the areas to hear you, because you don't, you don't well, broadcast got, nationally. Yeah, yeah but you, well, we do broadcast nationally. This is the whole point of making, but there are pockets where you have difficulty. And this There's is what you... She, pockets you can get. You yes, but you. this is where you've got to address the bosses and say, look, can we improve all the listening for Scotty? so that there's no home without access to Scotty and McLeod. Yeah, the last time I spoke to you, you said you were going to see the bosses. Have yes, you seen I, them yet? Well, no, I'm exceptionally busy because of all the figures coming out, and we have doubled our audience by 100%. I'm going to just go and chat them and tell me got a wee aerial stuck up but to that, the black That belt. is the thing, John. I, I mean, nobody gives more support than McClue to the thing, because obviously I've worked in radio stations which there were just no black spots at all. Ah, but you're in a top radio station now, so you should get a better risk. Yeah, we better should but you see, it's the whole thing about radio in this country. You are limited. Either AM, right, which is what you're listening to now, follows the curvature of the earth, or FM follows effectively as the crow flies, line of sight. Well, I'm listening to you on the FM now. But what's happening, you're on the FM at the moment, but what right. happens is that digital is coming in all the time. And eventually, every single home should be able to get Scotty McClure's megaphone. So it's not, it's not in any way anything that I'm doing that's limiting people people from hearing it in any in any little spot. You know as you drive up Staffordshire and Cheshire and all that, you get these little dips, these little valleys that dip. Right. Do you see what I mean? Now, they might not get it now. Is the answer to national radio? Do you see what I mean? And I there's... Broadcast on the internet or something, you got listeners throughout the world. Well, yes, there's, there's one station there's, which shall be nameless. Don't, don't you name it because you'll know the one I mean. But there's one station that's just been declared the country's most successful and it is national it is huge and it's on fm right you see what i mean i, and I, I mean unless you're on that radio station it's already fully booked and it doesn't do the style of program that we do do you see what i mean that's what they're losing the winter i'm not saying if they did if that station we are talking about which is a national station on the fm with huge huge listing figures if we broadcast McClue on at night it would be a winner we know that but you can't i can't be in two places at once and that station is owned by the british bottom cream <laughs> whereas my stations are owned by independent owners do you see what i mean aye, aye, you're right, yeah, but so that's that's your sort of dilemma in other words do i move away and work in london and go national there or do i base myself in scotland and go national from there i stay in scotland and go national for you see which is far more appealing but you're probably asking Bridge a wee a big know, area and sticking the top of the asking Bridge. In, in fairness to the bosses, the bosses have done a fantastic job. I mean, you think I've been here in Scotland for a matter of weeks, a few months, and right. already they've managed to get it as national as they can at the moment. Do you see what I mean? And we need to add other radio stations. We need to say to them, look, we need to negotiate with other radio stations and say, will you take the Scotty McClure National Megaphone in at night so we can cover the whole country? Well, Either that some doors. Well, it's either that or I have to, to go to the, the national station we were talking about and say, would you consider changing your policy and putting a three-hour speech program on in the evening so everyone can get Scotty McClue? You don't want to go to the bottom cream to do that, do you? Well, you shouldn't have to. That's, that's the whole thing. But traditionally, because they've been running since 1922, they've built up a superb network that can get every single household. So they're at a bit of an advantage... And remember, they are a business that can come to your door and say yours, whatever it is, 106 quid, pay up, or we'll do you. Now, that's yeah. a great business. I'd love a business like the bottom cream. Yeah. Can you imagine it? You and me running a business where somebody says pay up every year or we'll do you. I will see that about the, the, the licenses and everything. Yes. I love it. I love it when they put the price of the license up because it's more money I'm saving. <laughs> more money in the bank for me because I, I don't get one. It's a lot of rubbish. But you see, with me, for instance, it doesn't cost 
cost you a penny. I know. You I see, know and that's why that for... idiot, that idiot, whatever his name was, John, that was on complaining there, it's not costing him. If he doesn't like the programme, or if it's pure jealousy, he probably works for another radio station. Right, so he's probably. on scene if he can cause trouble, because another radio station close to this one took a huge hit last week. They lost 100,000 listeners. Do you see what I mean? It's probably a windy cleaner. He said he's a businessman. But a windy cleaner. Well, well, if he, if he, if he was a businessman that was wanted to advertise, then he would be pro the station. That's that. But what I say to people, if you don't like me, just go away. Don't listen. Don't. Right. Don't, brilliant, brilliant you show. know, don't don't go and make trouble for it because it's hard enough to get the show to everyone. Everyone knows it's a bit like going into a certain hamburger place. Everyone knows what they're getting when they switch on the clue. And if you don't want it, then that's fine. That's that. That's <laughs> but let everyone else get a, their dose of it every night, you know. Right. Because <laughs> this is when we all come together, and and that's it. But that is the dilemma as a broadcaster. If there is only one radio station that I know. I could get every single household on and it's owned by the bottom cream they're not going to change their policy just to accommodate Scotty McClough's national megaphone in. Don't want to have to go to them though. Well, you shouldn't have to. You see, you shouldn't have to. But this is the only way we can do it on independent radio. So... See, like, sir, see the station that owns Q? Yes. QFM? Yes. They broadcast nationally on the medium wave. I know that. I know that. But, I mean, again, that's a that's another radio station, and that doesn't do my style. Do you see what I mean? That's a that's a sports station. Ah, uh, but at night, they do. They do a wee bit of your style. They do that. I think, they, I think they've stole your idea, by the way. They probably have. I mean, a lot of people have tried tried to steal my ideas over the years but nobody's actually succeeded because they're not me that's that that's the whole difference they're not me and I've spent the last 10 years getting to know the people of this country and they've spent the last 10 years getting to know me right you see you, like, sir, you come on and you let people talk and you let people decide what they want to talk about that other station they tell you if you don't like what you're saying they just cut you off well that's no good, no good no that's, good that's no good that's not what it's all about you cut idiots off if they're wasting time I saw you're a top kiddie though. Well it is, I mean that's the thing, but at the end of the day, I'm only giving the people what they want. That's that, and then they reward you with the listenership. And that's that's, that. that's all you can do. It's not rocket science, but in 12 weeks, 100% increase in audience. Brilliant, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not bad. That's brilliant. You know, and see you next time, and see this time next year, you'll be talking 200% I hope. Well, I'll tell you what we did. The previous station I worked at in Scotland, which shall be nameless, uh, right? Let me just tell you what we did. Um, 4,000% increase in audience in two years. Aye, I mean, you left them in the I mean, toilet. Yeah, there was a 4,000% increase. I'll tell you what was worrying the management at the time. They had this daft idea in their head, nobody's bigger than the station. And they got a wee shot. And look what happened to them. Just doing the old lavvy. Yeah, 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 yeah. doing the lavvy, you know. Flushed. They're in a lot of trouble flushed away. But that sports station owns them now and now. That's right, that's right. So, I mean, that's good stuff. I mean, they, they own all that. And you want to do the best by it, but you, you've just got to negotiate what's the best way to get McClure into as many homes in the country as possible. And that's that's up to the programmers to decide what's the best route. But at the moment, we're doing what we can. And all I'm saying is supporters, stick with us. Because if you stick with us, then it's only going to increase and increase and increase. You see, it's You're up to, man. You know I know it's like. an man, but it's up to them. You see, if they, you see, for instance, if we're honest about it, Scotty McClure's megaphone in has been ahead of its time for years. There's nothing Aye. else like it in the country. The rest of them are all playing catch up now. They're, they're, that's what they're trying to do. But the thing is, this is the only program that's actually just geared to ordinary folk without any frills or fancies. We don't have politicians on. We don't have all these uh, supposed celebrities and supposed important people. This station is for the important people. You. Aye. Me. The rest of the gang. Brilliant. And this Brilliant. for three hours a night, it's only us that matter. And all your folk trying to get to the top of the tree and climbing over each other and stabbing folk in the back and all that, they don't exist. <laughs> all that exists is you, me, and the rest of the gang listening. And I say to folk, are you in or are you out? You know, now a guy like that, John, that came on, I'll discuss that with him. Because that's the fairest thing to do if he's got a problem but he was intentionally saying if there was some way 
he could bring me down. And that's what you get throughout the whole country. Your folks say, ah, we'll soon sort him, we'll knock him off his perch. Well, he's a, that guy, he, he wasn't interested. He, he just came on and started babbling on a lot of rubbish. Well, that's right, that's yeah. right. You see, and, and he'd obviously been quining about local sales figures for one town. I know. Do you see what I mean? Aye. So you inquire about local sales figures for one town if you've got a corner shop or something like that. I mean, there's no point. If you own the chippy in a town, there's no point in you having a national advert. That's right. Because people from uh, Northampton aren't going to come in for a bag of chips. They're going to go to the chippy in Northampton. Oh, unless you do home deliveries. <laughs> you know yourself when you're stopping up the road, you say, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll nip off at the A such and such because there's a great wee chippy there in a wee terraced house. And they'll, give me, a, they'll give me a nice big poke of chips. You see? Right. And all that. Sorry, sorry. If they do free home delivery, it'd be all right. The <laughs> Absolutely. But people like you and I that are used to going up and down the country all the time, we know where the chippies are. You see? Aye, you know where all the rotten chips are and the good chips are. You know where the goodies are and all Aye. the rest of it. You know where you get a bottle of ginger and you know where you get salt and sauce and all that stuff. You so, know where you get the reheats. That's it. That's it. You see? So you're spot on. But all I can do is be as, as, uh, as straightforward as possible when people like that come on because they are saboteurs. Trying to be. You know, that's it. But the nation knows. I mean, I'm long enough in the tooth. They're long enough in the tooth. The nation knows the truth. And yes, there are problems getting a national phone in to everybody. Of course there are, because you're rerouting the whole thing round the country. Get, get the boss's doors chopped and get chopped them and say, come on now, Chinas. You get know, the finger out. Get, get the, the finger, finger out. out and get this to all the people. Because everybody wants to hear you. And you take great care of yourself. Hey, cheers, Scott. Uh, and we'll speak again soon. Hey, no problem. Safe speak journey. Well, hey, a d- dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. <laughs> Fine stuff. Honestly, folk, that is the that is the truth. Of course, you have technical difficulties when you are an independent radio service because you know that's it doesn't cost you a penny, and uh, of course, your technical difficulties getting stuff to everyone's house. But we are doing our best, and you can't do better than that. That's what I say. Dinky do. Back after this. <laughs> More controversial than ever before, Scotty McClue's National Megaphone In, and it's back on air in seconds. And it's my- 